Hey guys and gals, let's finish up the Stable of Dream Creatures by LEGO Dream, set number 71459, contains 681 bricks, retails for, I believe, $79.99, and this set was provided by the LEGO Group for early review. Now, remember in the last installment, this is back through one through four, and this is what we did, and so far it looks somewhat complete compared to what we saw in the box. Well, today we're going to be doing bags... Uh, five through seven, I believe. Five, six, and seven. So, let me get situated here. We're ready to go. So, yeah, we did stop at five. And I hate worse when you finally get done with your day job. And today is the seventh of June... Or July, 7th of July, 2023. Hate when you're ready to relax, everybody wants you to do more stuff. That's what I, I swear. All I do is get up, work, go to bed. I don't ever... Don't, I, somebody tells me they had fun. I'm like, what is that word you speak of? Fun. And I'm already dropping pieces that are only one of a kind. So, I'm kind of not in the mood to, to do these today but I have to get these done as quickly as possible. And I got another thing coming in, and that's Z-Blob, so we got him done. And we're back onto the big model here. So I managed to, well, I'm working on editing the the Fantastical Treehouse. I'm working on part three. I'm still working on editing that. And I am working on the unboxing for the Fantastical Treehouse. It's taken a lot longer than I thought because I didn't know that the video was that long. And, you know, some of this stuff just takes forever to do. You know, building stuff is not too terribly bad. It's just the other parts that go with it. And stacking these together and taking them apart later on is going to be a bit of a turd. I've been outside working a little bit, in the shade at least, and it's time to come in and relax for a bit and kind of do some Lego stuff here. That's why my hands kind of look, you know, unless they've been washed. And just trying to get a bunch of stuff done and you get some chores done and oh you need to do this this and that I'm like my house is becoming more and more like a workplace than anything else so I'm like okay I'm back in the room I put my do not disturb sign on that means don't bother me until I'm done <laughs> uh -oh. No, I'm not used to having a lot of people here. That's a long story. I don't want to get into it. All right. And let's see here. I'm assuming that... I'm checking something here. Are these mirrors or not? They're not mirrors. They're kind of slightly different. So what we're going to do, we're just going to build them regularly. And I haven't had any complaints or something to tell you guys today. So it's kind of boring and dry. <laughs> you know. Kind of boring and dry today. Nothing, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting that went on. Been reading about the hottest temperatures in the world. Well, the hottest the Earth's ever been. Average temperature is like 62, 63 degrees or close to it. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. 63 degrees, you can walk outside and enjoy it and have a picnic that day. That's enough to wear a a long sleeve shirt and relax and stuff, but, you know, 
And I was reading something about if it went up by six degrees all over the world, we're doomed. We'd have to rethink a lot of things out, but uh, I don't know. I'm a computer programmer. I write programs for stuff like that. I don't. I'm not an. I, I don't do that kind of analytical stuff. So anyways, today I'd like to get this set done here that leaves one more of these left and seven of the other set. What I'm going to do is for like a little interlude uh, session between these two sets, I'm going to do another one of these mystery sets that I got in. And then the, the other stuff that I've got being shipped out to me right now is something that I probably would never review or talk about, but it's very important. And it's Lego related. So that's what we'll be focusing on. I don't. Yep, these are already falling apart. Anything that sticks up with, with very little ink or down like that will just come apart. So I'm just trying to survive and get things done. Uh, you know, my family's like, you're always back there in that room, always doing Lego stuff. I said, yeah. Oh, is this what you did before we were here? I'm like, yeah, I did all this stuff. I would sit back here and build. It gets my mind. I got to have a palate cleanser, you know, and uh, doing a lot of computer programming. Oh, I thought maybe uh, you partied or something. I said, party? I said, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I get up, I work, I go to bed pretty much now. So see, this side here is almost, almost a mirror of what we did before. In fact, I need to make that appointment still. I thought I made the appointment for my hairdo, but never did. I gotta get through that. I gotta check and see though. All right, so. Or maybe, uh, maybe see if I can confirm it first and of course I had to pick one of the hottest days it, it's going to be in the 90s here which is kind of low but going and getting a haircut on a week that a weekend is kind of a pain everybody else and their grandmothers do it at that same time and I really don't want to go in there and have to wait an hour or two just wait for my turn I like to get my appointments because they only do walk-ins at certain weekdays. They try to do more of the uh, appointment stuff. I like to make an appointment, get there promptly, and get my services done, and then that is it. I get to go home. Did I put that piece back over here? Back in there? I don't think I did. Let me pop that out. I forgot to put this in here. So I knew I forgot to put something in there. Uh, Jay, it seems like you work too much. Yeah, I work way too much. I've been cutting back hours. Matter of fact, I could take six months off right now and not even think about it. I was thinking of some places to go and stuff, but you know, when you're a desert dweller, there's not a whole lot you could do during the summer. Wintertime, there's plenty of things to do. It doesn't snow out here or anything like that. Uh, you can go up to the upper deserts where it does snow. You go to the mountains, you can go to the beach. Uh, but if you want to go hike in the deserts, that's the perfect time to do it. You still got to carry plenty of water. Yeah, maybe in the 50s and 60s in the wintertime out there. But you still got the sun beating down on you, which is just as bad. So that's why you have to carry as much water as you carry. You can carry water and sunscreen. A lot of the abandoned desert towns that I want to kind of visit, you actually have to contact the landlord and ask for permission. 
Sometimes they'll say yes, most of the times they'll say no. It's just, and I understand one guy explained to me it was the insurance thing, and that's fine. You know, kind of just want to look for a new exploration to do. We don't have a whole lot of abandoned places where I'm at. doesn't tell you which hole they put it in there, huh? That's confusing. I think the big one here goes here. And then the little one goes here. Okay? Just like that. And you can see that a little bit of green right, right above my thumb right there. But they have this thing pointing to this one. That's sloppy right there. That's confusing. If I wasn't really paying attention, I would really mess that up. Oh, they're using these for propellers. That's kind of cool. And they're using the little vanilla wafer sticks or whatever, the nougat wafer sticks to cover up the studs. I'd like those tiles too. And then the problem is he's still kind of brittle and having the thing kind of come apart. And the bevel gear, the teeth, I think. Yeah, they face the head of the nail. And then you use two bushings, and then you shove that thing right in the middle there. That's going to help probably anchor those down, I bet you, these from coming apart. I think that's what these are for. They still fall off, though. And that's what it is, and this just sticks here. So when the wind hits it, you can grind your wheat inside. So if this rotates here and this thing grinds... You're fine. It's working. And then that's what we have remaining there for bag for bag uh, five, I believe. Okay, let's move on to bag six. And yeah, it's going pretty quick so far. And I think we only have just that one sticker there remaining. So we still got to have that sheet bounce around a few times. And I have a feeling it's gonna probably going to go on that right there. Okay, oh, we gotta do a minifigure, hold on. I gotta do the boring stuff first. Well, she's got a hairbrush in her hand. At least I found that stuff. I just gotta find the torso. Yeah, tonight, when I get this all done, I told them we're gonna have barbecue burgers. I gotta have my meat. Oh. <laughs> my family's not used to all the meat. I'm like, I'll buy it, bring it home, and you can cook it. <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool. She's done, I think. Okay, now we can start working on the rest of this here. Now, we haven't got to that big, giant deer thing yet. So, hard to say. Now, be careful picking this thing up. I've noticed that the roof just feels kind of flimsy. I've got to line these gates up from that last installment here. I'm just going to shove these all the way down. There you go. And then this one here goes somewhere. Oh, we're on the back side of this. My bad. So... Oh, it goes like this. I thought there'd be something to hang on to this. Now, when I do the the tour of this, there will be a close-up shot for this, too. And the reason being is, is because when I do the 3D tour, it's going to be hard to see in there. So when I do the close-up tour, we can get right down close and personal with this one. And take a look at it and stuff. 
I have a feeling these are going to be meant to lap, loop around that. I got to make some, some. I think these are some kind of Asian style lanterns, like Chinese lanterns or something, or bug lights. We just got to make two of these. I think one time I downloaded some Asian um, resource pack for Minecraft or a, a mod for it. And that thing was really cool. They had paper lanterns. They had the, you know how they have the Minecraft doors? They had some sliding doors with like the, uh, I can't remember the name of those screens. That a lot of the Japanese use, you know, for room partitions. And those were really cool. And I thought, oh, these are really cool. The folding screens are the, those were, those were always cool to, have. I never had any of those though, but they're kind of cool. All right, so we put the lanterns here at the very ends. Uh, something else I got to get up and pick up, huh? All right, so that does that there, and this one goes over here. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get this done lickety split here today because I, I got to get a bunch of editing done. But I'm turning down offers right now. Because I want to get on to finishing up the last 14 or so videos by the end of the year. Okay. These should have been with the other bag. Now we're going to start putting together the deer. So this thing is not even uh, broken down for family build. Well, that's automatically going to get a strike. Yeah, some people say I always sound angry in these videos. No, I'm just overworked. <laughs> Not with Lego stuff, but I'm overworked just for, you know. That's why I... Worst comes to worst, the week of Thanksgiving is when I usually take off my big giant holiday. That's 12 weeks and not have to worry about anything. I get up and just do whatever I want. i got to put this right in here. Uh, Jay, that must be fun to be a computer programmer. Uh, it depends. <laughs> if it's for fun, like for personal use, it's always fun. Like if you're making a game mod pack and all that stuff. If it's mostly like what I do is database work, not too much. <laughs> when it becomes a paid job that you got to claim taxes on, it's not fun anymore. like this. This is not really fun anymore. I mean, the set is relaxing, but just building Lego sets in general is not fun. But, it's better than looking at a computer screen right now. I think you guys are going to like the pontoon boat and stuff like that. You're going to like uh, July and August tutorials and stuff a lot of these builds they don't quite make sense like why did I build this they're going to be used for different they're going to be used for larger mocks eventually so like today I released the sandbox tutorial and I don't expect that to get a lot of views everybody wants the big giant vehicles and stuff but when you get to doing those type of builds they're accessory points they're the icing on the cake and when you do those, when I do the main build, they're there. Because a lot of that stuff I rip apart almost instantly when I build it for tutorial use. And later on, I'll go through and say, okay, I'm building, a, I'm, I'm going to build a house. And I'm looking for, for playground furniture for the backyard. And I'll go through and scroll through my... Uh, library of building guides go oh a sandbox okay we have a sandbox we got a place a place slide and a swing set there you go put those back there there's the stuff for my house i don't have to spend a whole lot of time building it because it's already done for me you see what i mean where okay this is really becoming riddlicious here and that's pretty much how i'm doing it now 
It shows that there's little fingers on the side, but oh, I see what size. So I've been kind of building up a library. You know, I, I, I still don't understand why people complain about, you know, all the little tutorials. They're the icing for the big stuff coming up. And I think I'm missing a clip. Oh, no, there's just only one. And I think I know where the last piece goes. It'd be easier if I put it on here first. You got to put a sticker on that. But it's just like building my campers. You notice I build the campers. And you notice later on, a year or two later, you'll see those same campers in the campground mock. They're all different campers. Like the picnic tables. I don't have to... Does it matter which way it goes? I don't have to sit there and plan out how the how they're going to go in or you know like what kind of picnic table I'm using and stuff like that I can say okay this is a different area I'm going to change it up a bit that kind of thing oh wait a minute this is not supposed to be here yeah this is really brittle so be very careful I'm having parts flaking off of this but a lot of people don't get that. They don't understand. I don't know, Dan, you watched my videos. You appreciate them and stuff like that. But you you know, you're a mock builder. You're building your own theme. So you know exactly where I'm coming from. A few a few mock builders, they, they only understand that stuff, you know. It's like, these are, it's icing on the cake. Like, Jay, what's with all the bedroom sets? You know, the last bedroom sets I did were from that Amityville Horror House. Because a few people uh, asked for them. You know, they asked for those to be a building guide. And that's what I usually do. Okay, this goes like this. See how brittle this is? It's coming apart. Yeah, now it's secured. But I know, Dan, you really appreciate the business. And some people don't understand that, though you know, that I put a lot of time into these. And you understand that, you know, this stuff is, is essentially, I don't have to buy this stuff, all right? Lego sends me this stuff for review. For review, that's the hint. They didn't send it to me as a gift. Some people think that, you know. But no, they send this stuff to me to review it, to build it, to talk about my build experience with it. And then I have to do a report on it. And those reports can take anywhere from, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to complete. That's why when you leave a comment on my YouTube channel, Lego will see it. Now report the findings to them. I never understood all that until I got into all this. You know, it's like, I, it's like right now, this is a pleasant build. This is something that's entertaining me right now. So I, you know, as an adult, so I, here I'm an adult, right? I'm very picky. If this is keeping my interest, I'm sure this is going to keep the interest of a young builder. I'm trying to hold it like that. I think this is the uh, torso of the deer, you know. But, no, this stuff by all means is not free. A lot of people, they misconstrue that. This is not this is not all free stuff here. Free is like when they sent me those castle sets to build, or that spaceship. I did those whenever I wanted to. This I have to do this. Like this has to be done. I have to get this done before August, before the sets are released. I have to report my findings. I have 30 days to get most of this stuff done. After that, I have to explain to them as to why I'm late. So it's not, it's not what you think. <laughs> some, some people think, oh, Jay, it's not that hard. I've had, a, I've had a fan tell me, well, Jay, it must be lucky to get all this stuff. Not really. <laughs> it's nice to build things, you know. And two, a lot of these parts that I get, they're not really helping me out with my mock building. I still have to go out and purchase the parts. You know, I have to buy all the bricks and stuff for my own personal builds. 
Now I could use, when I'm done reviewing and I'm done with the paperwork submitting it into Lego, yes, these are mine. I could do as I want with them. Okay, and it really is important which way these go here. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, it goes like this. Well, how does that even go in there? Okay, it goes like that. So make sure they're at an angle, then we'll swing them out. And they're offset. They're a caddy corner from one another. So this deer right now won't really... S oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> then we got to build two mirrors. But yeah, there's a lot of pieces that I could use out of this set right here. But I can't use them. I can't just rob a piece. I have to get done with everything. Once I'm done, then I can go ahead and take it apart and, and harvest it, you know. But uh, right now I can't. So right now I have to, I have to do this. <laughs> I just explained that to my family and they don't understand that. Well, why did you get into more work? Well, I wasn't really expecting it to be this much work, but I'm not a quitter. I can deny offers. You know, I can just turn down offers and that'll be it. But then again, if it's a theme that would fit my channel very well, yeah, I'm going to do it. Right now, the offer that I declined, it was just not something I could do on this channel. Or any of my channels, it wasn't really mock friendly. So I couldn't just, I couldn't do that. Okay, all their, okay, leave the legs folded like this. Don't bring the legs out. Do them like that. See how they're folded in? We'll pull that one out of the way. That's the only way to put those in. Now I think I can stand this up here. There you go. Now you don't have to wait a minute. Hold on. Some of these are facing inwards and some of them are facing outwards. Is that how they're supposed to be? Okay, all of them are supposed to be facing outwards. So... Okay, well, I messed up here. You're gonna, if I mess up, I know somebody else is gonna mess up too, and getting these out of here can be a bitch. Okay, I just need to swap. These legs are correct here. These ones in the front are not. So. Okay, these parts have to be outwards. There we go. They're supposed to be facing backwards. Yeah, from what I can tell. Okay, I hate building brick-built animals, but... Okay. And, well, let's get going. I think this is the head. There's a Pokemon with a name like this, too, with the branches that grow on there. I can't remember. Buccaneer or something, I don't know. Yeah, sad I didn't have to ban anybody today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I didn't have to block anybody. Which is a good thing. You know, because after a while blocking people gets kind of boring. Plus, this is a Lego channel. Why do I want it? Why do I do that? You know. All right, these two pieces are actually printed. Lego's at least getting a little smart here with this because there's no way I could have put these on correctly here. So the eyes are printed there. I really wish Lego would get into Pokemon stuff. Anything that's remotely interesting, they won't get into. It's like the Walking Dead theme. Another block company's already taken that one over. And you're like, well, yeah, okay, you <laughs> know, not a whole lot. 
I'm just glad Lego doesn't do a uh, military stuff. Yeah, two of those. Well, um, you know what? I forgot to put these right here. Well, we'll put those in real quick then. I'm glad now I checked this. So, essentially bags one through six pretty much does, does the basic build. And that's not a bad little deer. Pretty sturdy too. It's not bad at all. It's pretty cool and that's what we have remaining. So now we're going to move on to bag seven. Let me fold these gates up here and kind of get this back here. And you got two storylines. And we have the red or the red leaves or we got the blue leaves. And you know, I should do the green mission on this one. Let's take a look here. And I think it's just a, you know, The set doesn't have enough blue. Pour all this out here. I wish I can take a poll on which ones you guys want to do, but it's not live, unfortunately. I can't just do that. So, honestly, I think I'd rather do, let's take a look at the green one real quick. Oh, okay, so we're using the other parts for the tree. And I guarantee you... Oh, it's the same thing, just different ways around. We're just going to stick with the blue one, the blue mission here. Okay. So, at least we don't have to rip things off. But you do get the medium azure and the magenta leaf parts. So you do get plenty of them. We just got to prepare these here. So when I do the tour of this, I'm going to do the figures first. This set's got a lot of stuff. It's got mini figures. We got accessories. I'll probably do the cactus the, and the deer. And then the last thing we'll do is this, and then we'll do the review. Usually when I film them, I do the review first while it's fresh in my mind. Then I kind of break it down. I do the minifigures, and then I kind of stage things up as I go. Okay, Lego, this is what I like here. See how there's nothing on this deer, and now i got to add accessories on? This is how the storyline should be. I don't want to have to take things off unless I want to change the storyline. But see how I'm just adding stuff onto the deer? I'm not modifying them. That's what I'm saying right there. And that's what I'm always looking for. All right. And if you're short on friends flowers, this set's got a bunch for you here. I'm trying to match it up the way that the book does there's a there's a bunch of these you gotta so we're gonna have to make i think it's just gonna be the antlers for the deer we gotta make a mirror of this too and really kind of want to see how this turns out somebody said today and i remember just now i don't know if they were trying to be mean or whether they're just you know being constructive about it somebody was i was talking about one of these it was an old minecraft set a re-upload i said this is kind of boring somebody says yeah you're boring just watching this and i don't know if i should take that offensive or not and i thought Dude, I hope not, because I don't want to have to block anybody right now. 
and that's like you know if you're being mean about it and telling me what I can do to improve you know there you go yeah. pull those oh you can't bend them back huh so they're stuck there oh yeah you can just barely there you go all right I think the head moves too yeah All right, so he's done, or she. Yeah, some of the figures I was saying she when it was supposed to be he, sometimes you can't tell on these sets. You know, I'm more just interested in getting them done than anything else. As long as you're nice about it, I'll take in consideration on making, fixing my mistakes and errors. But when somebody's rude, I just block them. <laughs> Jay, you block a lot of people. You know, I mean, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I do. I just don't have time for the silliness and what some people do on here. They'll just get a little angry for something silly, and I'm like, really. How's that supposed to go on there? Hold on. Okay, it shows one going up here. But how do you attach them unless I forgot some parts in here? Well, no. Okay. I skipped a whole page. That's what I did. All right. I was like, am I doing something wrong there? Yeah. Yes, I am. I forgot the whole page. This one here, okay, this one goes to this little branch here. Boy, this tree's kind of puny, isn't it? <laughs> not a whole lot on that, huh? Well, we're not done with it yet. They're just, okay, we gotta build two different types. All right, I'm just gonna, are they mirrors? All right, I can't tell, if I can't tell, I'm not gonna risk it. Not even for the brisket. Not today. <laughs> just imagine being at the beach right now and hearing the waves. I have to. I've just about gotten. Thought the thing was getting dim there. I was, I'm just about testing out that video with the uh, ocean or the scenic sounds but i gotta wait for you guys and gals to tell me if nobody tells me i may just do them randomly in certain installment series and of course until somebody complains about it okay so how does that even clip on there oh it clips onto the carrot stem Yeah, this, I think this was a mirror. Yeah, but I'm going to try to do is get these done before dinner. So at least this one won't be done, but it'll be filmed. It'll be filmed, reviewed. The thumbnail, will, I'll have the picture taken for the thumbnail, and then that's it. <laughs> See, you guys and gals get to hear all the behind-the-scenes stuff on these. You know, a lot of the big guys, they won't do it. They won't talk about the behind-the-scenes. I have nothing to hide on here, you know. Now, I won't reveal my methods for tutorials, except I just filmed them. 
Oh, that just feels like that's ready to... There we go, now it's snapped in. All right, and then that's it right there for the tree. And then we take two of these things here. Yeah, these don't get a whole lot of views, so I'm not going to fret over it or anything. So this right here, these almost look like bushes. That's how they have them there. But look right back here. I thought those were bushes, like trees, like those little manicured little type of trees, but no. All right, there's a lot of little accessories in here and this I'm assuming goes in the middle like that and yes you would not know that where does this go look right there I have a feeling someone's gonna build this and just get get confused even I had to look ahead you just have to and sometimes just read ahead in these things if you're confused you know I'm a full-grown adult getting confused on these. I, I'm assuming if you're a kid, you're going to get lost like I am too. <laughs> we can get lost together, huh? Just think of it that way. Oh, and you know what? I see a lot of guys complain that their channels get flagged for being kids. Honestly, do I talk to you guys and gals like you're a bunch of kids on here? No, I don't know who's watching. I'm assuming it's mostly adults. I know there's probably a kid that watches these, but... I'm not going to talk to you like you're four years old either. And then these, and then the frying pan goes on the top there. It's almost like building succulents, huh? Or the, or the Britannical stuff. Now, mind you, you could still use this stuff for regular city builds, too. There's some good ideas out of these sets. So this set here, you know, even though if it's a, a theme that I, you know, don't really care much for, this one's actually really fun to build. At least I'm not lying to you and telling you it's boring, just to make the video more interesting. See, I don't know. The, it, the box shows it fun, and it's a fun build. Sometimes I build sets where the box shows it as a fun build and it's dry and boring this is going to be one of those ex ones where okay the box shows it is fun oh i remember putting these together for succulents huh remember the little corn husk things or whatever except this one's got some nice pretty colors it's oh it's the dried flowers remember those dried flower sets i had to build Yeah, I remember those. That really nasty, pasty thing. Yeah, this you can just get these parts in bright colors and replace those dried flowers with something fun. Now, you don't have to shove those hollow studs in there all the way. There's six of these in total. When you get to the f this next one here, after this one here, there's six of these. And, well, that's really starting to dig into my fingers, huh? I mean, my hands are getting poked. <laughs> oh, yikes, this is going to be pretty brutal here. When you get up to the very last one, though, pushing that in there, that's going to be a pain. It's very painful, too. Stick this nose cone in there. Oh, we got to do two of these. I wasn't even paying attention. I got to do that all over again. So my hands are going to get tortured again for a bit longer. I thought, oh, I'm done. No, I'm not done. At least we're using all the parts in here. So what I'm gathering is the pieces for the deer. You can just swap the colors out in here. So it could be for different moods. Which is fine. So far, I don't have to do anything. 
I would say for this set right now, just the build experience is pretty good. Um, build quality, I really don't know. The deer didn't fall apart. Some parts are falling apart during the build. Nothing to really warrant a high ding or anything like that. I'm going to say uh, so far the set's probably at a at a nine something. These are kind of getting boring to put together. So if you're going to put together, make sure you have some good gloves on. Okay, now where do these go here? You know, they go on here. So these are like the weak stalks. Or, you know what? You could even use these as trees, too, if you get these in green. That'd make some nice trees for something, huh? And that, my friends, is what we have remaining. Just your little odds and ends and stuff. Okay. I'll have to get the turntable when I do the actual review. We'll set it up now for the thumbnail. And that's it. And the book talks about the green build. Okay. So, basically, you got this stable here. Obviously, he can't fit in there. So it's not really scaled for him. And we got the happy cactus. Maybe you can throw him in there, too. Maybe he needs to be locked up. Well, he's in a pot. these right here and yeah the front of this looks pretty fun you do get several mini figures and it's playable I can easily open up the doors it's this is fun looking right this looks pretty cool now let's take a look at the back here now be careful some of this stuff will flake apart so I'm saying it's more of an average build at this point and then this is open for play obviously so what does that really mean? Um, Y'all little kitchen, dining room. Here's the wheat grinding thing here that functions. Here's the stable, and that's essentially what it is. Looks more like an old classic Lego Elf set than anything else, or a friend set. We got the oversized deer. You know, maybe you can make him fit in there and he can blend in with the terrain. <laughs> and, of course, these open up, too, if you want to open these up. And how does the box show the, show this stuff on here? Yeah, it shows the gates going out this way. This is what it is here. And it does look just like the box. So the box probably just does the blue missions. And... For the most part, though, you know, everybody's got a weapon in their hand. Well, he's got, you got uh, Cooper the farmer, so he can walk around in here and, you know, everything's scaled for figures. You can take a nap in the stall with the pigs, huh? But there's not even any pigs with this. So if you got animal figures, I'm sure this could be used for as a regular farm. Um, maybe a kind of like an English-style farm. Just the front of this just gives me more of like a storybook type of like something you'd see in Europe. But it's a really nice, colorful build. This works. And, you know, honestly, I'm not dissatisfied with the build. It's attracted my attention and stuff. And as you see, though, this is the only thing that's kind of oversized. He can drink. He can say yes. And yes, he can even say no, too. So if you say... Hey, can I have a cookie, even though if it's 2 o'clock in the morning and I didn't do my homework? The Derek will just say, no, sorry. But yes, you can go to bed early. You know, so he's fully functional, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, and in addition, you can have something right on his back. So how am I going to do the review on this here? I'm going to leave this guy here for last. It'll just be reviewed so this will be a 360 spin, but this right here and this I'm going to film together, and I'll do all the figures here in one clump. And yeah, this is a fully playable model, as you can see though.
excuse me guys, jump right on into the quick uh, review, and honestly, it's not a bad set for play experience. It's really good. There's plenty of things to do here, and this is a at least somewhat of a full functional farm, with the exception of that. That's just too big. But more people are interested in this scale for minifigures and stuff like that. So for me, not too bad. I'm, I'm really happy with the play experience on this. Build, ex the, the build experience on this is pretty good. It kept my interest. I'd say the build experience on this is very relaxed and very pleasant. It's the colors. It's very bright and colorful. I didn't feel bored with this one. So there you go. Build quality. Oh, these things here can come off. No, this one kind of kept getting knocked off. And that's probably the only thing. So I'd say the build quality on this is a little bit, maybe above average. These right here feel like they were going to break off. But uh, but the only problem is, though, when you're moving this thing around, it's kind of the way it is. got to be careful where you pick this up at. As you can see, I can pick it up. But I'm sure this one could probably be carried around, but I still would be kind of weary of it. I'd keep it on a flat surface. And city drop in value, you got the back that's left open, so we can't. Um, you can obviously make mocks out of this. This is a good starting point for making a house like this. So just imagine I come in here and I build my own stuff. I could practically build this thing up a bit more and make this a full-pledged cottage. Just match these windows up. Get rid of all that sticker stuff. Matter of fact, I can see this being tan and brown here with a nice thatched roof. Oh yeah, it'll look like a really like a nice European style cottage. I think this would really be a good mock, a good thing for a mock inspiration there. Uh, it's not a collaborative build, sadly. I wish it was. I wish this stuff here was separate. And this could. I wish these were. You can just divide the rooms up. So sadly, this is just something you'd hand to somebody and say, here, build it. It's just a, a solo build. Yeah. So my final score on this set, and I'm, you know, I know some people want me to really trash these, but it kept my interest. I'd say it's probably about an eight and a half to nine. Just because of lack of collaborative build. Stickers were somewhat okay. I'm going to ding a little bit off for them. But the play value is what's kind of keeping the set there. There's plenty of things to do. Lots of accessories. This Castillo, you got the figures, you got these mushroom things, you got the Z blob. You know, this is this is fun to look at. I, and this is gonna be fun to play with. So whoever gets this set, it's gonna have a lot of fun. That's what that's why my score is eight and a half to nine. I'm still kind of on the fence on it here but it can't be any less nothing was scratched or anything but all, my overall experience is pretty good with this set so tell me what you guys and gals think to me it's it was a relaxing build